हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल इजी एक्सप्लेनेशन इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर सर्च यूजिंग सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो आई विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग लीनियर सर्च विदाउट यूजिंग फंक्शन एंड अगेन यूजिंग फंक्शन सो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर सर्च यू नीड टू हैव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एरे एंड पॉइंटर If you are not familiar with this concept, then please go through the video link provided in the description section of this video tutorial. Now, what is linear search? Linear search is a sequential search algorithm in which we will be searching a given key element in the given list of values. So we will have a list of values and we will have a key element provided. Then we will be finding the key element in the given list of values. So. Let us understand how it works. Let us say we have an array something like this. One, two, three, four. The array elements are ten, twenty, hundred, fifty, and ninety, and the key element provided to us is. Suppose ninety. Now, here a li linear search is the sequential search algorithm. So we will be comparing the key element with all the element of the given array sequentially. So we'll first we'll be comparing the element at index zero, then at index one, index two, index three, and index four. If it is found, if the key element matches any of the element in the given list, then we'll be returning the uh, index of that. Element and we'll say search is successful and element is found at position this. If the key element is not present in the given list, then we'll print search unsuccessful. Okay, so now see. First, I'll be comparing the key element with element at index zero of the given array. If it is not equal, then we'll be incrementing the index value. Now, the index of will be one. I'm comparing the key with the element at index one. If it is not equal, then again increment the index. Now, index value will be two. Compare with the key element. It is not equal. Again, increment the index. Now, a of three. At a of three, we have fifty, and key element is ninety. So they are not equal. Again, increment the index. Now we have a of four equals to equals to key. Now you can see ninety equals to equals to ninety is true. They will say that search is successful, and key element is found at position four. If the ninety was not present in the given array, then we will say that search search unsuccessful, and key element was not found in the list. Okay. Now we will be using this concept. To implement the linear search in C programming language, now let us write the code for that. Linear search dot C. Linear search using C has include studio dot h in main. I first declare an array of maximum size hundred. Then I'll be asking the user user to enter the size of array. Is how many element you want to insert into the given array? So enter the size of array. So scanf percentage d and percent size. Okay. After that. Since we have to sequentially search the algorithm uh, array, so first we have to initialize the array. So we'll be asking the user to enter the array elements first. So printf slash n enter the array elements. Enter the percentage d array elements and percentage d will be provided by size value. We see enter five elements, six elements, something like that. Now we'll be using loop controlling variable i. 
so for i equals to zero i less than size and i plus plus and we will be calling this a scan a function size minus one time or size time so percentage d and percent a of i so whatever the values user will enter will be stored at the index of array at the given array location now so this code or this part will initialize your array now once the array is initialized we will print the array if you want or we will directly start the linear search now for linear search we need a key element again we will ask the user to enter the key values so printf enter the key elements now scanf percentage d and percent key now we will be comparing this key element sequentially with all the elements of array for that again we have to use one loop for i equals to 0 i less than size i plus plus now if the element at position i is equals to equals to key then we will print printf slash n percentage d is found at position percentage d slash n and percentage is nothing but a key value so key is found at position i plus 1 then we will break or terminate the loop or break the loop now so in this way you can implement the linear search then we will write return 0 okay now let us run this code and see whether it works or not so i will do ls then we have a linear search there gcc linear search dot c dot slash a dot out compilation is successful now enter the size of array let us say the size of array is 5 i will enter the 5 array elements 100 40 90 70 and 80 enter the k element let us say the key element is 90 you can see 90 is found at position 3 so what happens here is first we'll compare 90 with 100 it is not equal so it will increment the index value now compare 40 with 90 not equal compare 90 with 90 it is equal now the index position is 2 so index is 2 so its actual position will be 3 in the given array so it, it is uh, returning 90 is found at position 3 in this way linear search algorithm can be implemented I hope every one of you understood the code. If you have any queries regarding the linear search algorithm, please mention in the comment section. We will try to answer that. Now this is the simple way without using the function. Now let us implement this linear search algorithm using the concept of function. So I will declare an array, sorry, file call as a fun, f -E -N, no, linear underscore search dot c so we'll be writing a function called as a linear search okay then has include will be copying this code again control a control c control b okay now this code must be present where in your in our linear search function so for that i'll be writing one function called as a linear underscore search we do not know the argument yet so i will leave this as empty now i'll be calling a linear search function here linear search now so to perform the linear search we need array which is given by a we need the size of array which is given by size and we need the key element which is given by key it means that now we can we have we are passing the base address of array we are passing the size of array and we are passing the key element now base address will be stored where in pointer so a star aptr array pointer int s 
and int k now this thing should be present where it should be here now control v now i should be initialized as a int declared as a int i and size is s here and key is key here okay now instead of array we are using array pointer so it will be something like if star aptr is equals to equals to k then Then we writing k here and after each iteration the aptr should be incremented to point the next elements in the given array okay now this is the code to implement linear search using function now i'll be writing the return type here since I will be writing here void since we are not returning anything from the function so I will be declaring the function prototype control b int star int and then again int so here we are passing the base address of array base address will be stored at aptr we will be comparing the first element or the element at base address with the key element if it is not equal then we will be incrementing the array pointer then it will point to the next element in the given array in this way it will continue until we reach the end of the given list or the element is found so if you will execute this code then we have here gcc if you win linear source dot c dot slash a dot out enter the size of array as again as a five i'll write and same element 100 40 90 70 and suppose 60 enter the key element 60 60 l is found at position 4 so 60 is in the array 60 as index index 4 which is the fifth position of the given array element so 60 is found at position 5 in the given array by painting like that so in this way you can implement the linear search algorithm using function ok please have a good look at this I hope every one of you understood this concept of linear search. Please like, share and subscribe our channel EG Explanation for more video tutorial on C programming language as well as other programming language. Till then, bye bye everyone. Thank you for listening.